Okay, next up, density of solids. Remember, think about density as mass per volume. And for solids, we're going to measure the volume by looking at the cubic centimeters, uh, sort of like the length times the width times the height. And mass is always in grams, so we're going to look at density and think of units of grams per cubic centimeter. If you see cubic centimeters, you should be thinking about solids and you should be thinking about density. Okay. Also remember that densities are different for different materials. So they are definitely measured values. And we find them on the conversion sheet. And we'll take a look at a couple of those as soon as we get started on these problems. So write these down be able to know where on your conversion sheet you can find the uh, the density values. I'll go ahead and load that up here. Take a look. There they are. They're under physical constants. The different elements are shown here. These are just the ones that we're going to typically encounter in this class, but there's so many uh, other materials and all of them have different densities. There, grams per cubic centimeter is written right there under densities, and you can see sodium only has two sig figs, mercury has five. Three places pass, two places pass. So things are very different for all the different densities, and so these are measured numbers, which means they can limit the number of sig figs in your answer. All right, so have your book ready for your conversion sheet. Write down these numbers. Hit pause, work out the uh, units, make sure you get the right answers with sig figs, and come back and we'll see how you did. Hit pause. Okay, now we're back. So, the question says what our volume will 1437.5 grams of lead PB occupy? Well, once again, one number makes things easy for how to start. Volume, grams, and lead you're supposed to know as a solid. So we're looking at density as the conversion. So if we look up lead, there's 11.35 grams per every one cubic centimeter for lead. So 11.35 grams goes on the bottom. One cubic centimeter goes on top. Units cancel. Leave me with cubic centimeters. How many sig figs in 147 or 14375? That's five. How many in 1135? That's four. My answer will have four. This density measurement limits the number of sig figs in my answer. Alright, so 1437.5 divided by 11.35 to 4 sig figs is 126.7 cubic centimeters. If you can identify the kind of problem, then this is a real easy problem. If you have trouble understanding that you need to be going to the physical consonants and the density uh, off the conversion sheet, then you might have difficulties. All right, now this problem says, what is the mass of 34 cubic centimeters of potassium? Cubic centimeters to mass, we're talking about density. Okay, one number, 34 cubic centimeters. There's a direct one-step conversion, and this is the density. Potassium, what is the symbol for potassium? It's not P, because P is phosphorus. K is potassium. And there's the value. 
0.856 grams per every one cubic centimeter. 0 0.856 grams per every one cubic centimeter. Cubic centimeters cancels out. It's clear I have two sig figs in my answer, right? Two here, three here, two. Mass will be in grams. 34 times 0 0.856. 29 grams. And that's it. Have at it. Exercise 5D, page 87 through 89. Good luck.